Hello everyone, welcome to Pascal's Kitchen. Today we're going to make canard à l'orange, duck with oranges. This dish, um, how shall I say this? My mum made this dish. She made an epic version of this dish that took three days to make. We had a friend visiting from the States, this is when I was living in London, and he loved to cook. And he and my mum got into the kitchen and started to make this classic, classic French dish. And I think underestimated how much time it would take to prepare the three stocks that were needed and all the sauces and all the other things. This is a much, much simpler version but basically captures the same essence of the dish, which is roasted duck and this lovely um, citrusy taste from the oranges. And they are a marvelous pair together. The other thing is that duck, I think, makes people very nervous and think that it's difficult to cook. But in fact, it's super simple. And this, the entire thing takes maybe 15 minutes to prepare. So I'm going to show you how to do that. The first thing we're going to do, I'm going to go through the ingredients. So here I have duck legs. Uh, this is a meal for four people. My mum's coming over for dinner, so I thought I would make canard à l'orange for her to remind her of that dinner many years ago. So four duck legs. There are four, five oranges, and this is a mixture of cara cara oranges and blood oranges. And you can use whatever oranges you like, but if you can get blood oranges, that's great because it adds a lovely pop of colour to the dish and some watercress, which is just added at the end after the duck and the oranges have cooked. So I am going to show you how to prepare the duck and I will pop that into the oven. It takes about an hour to cook the duck legs and they're really simple to prepare. And then we'll deal with the oranges and then I'll show you how to finish assembling it. So for the duck legs, all you need is a pan that will hold them fairly snugly. You want a little bit of space around them, but not a huge wide pan uh, because otherwise they might catch and burn. And you want to trim a quite a lot of the fat off the, the duck legs. You still leave a little bit on there. And just pop these in the pan. You do not need to oil the pan or put any other oil in, in the dish as the fat from the duck will be sufficient to cook everything and just create this lovely juice in the, in the pan. So, <clears throat> quickly rinse my fingers. Now to this I add a little bit of salt and pepper on the top. I, this is lovely crunchy coarse sea salt from, from France, Sel de Guérande, my favorite salt to cook with and some pepper and quite, I like quite a lot of pepper on this it gives it this nice this nice flavor on the skin and then some fresh thyme and this I just put in and around the the duck and that is all you have to do to prepare the duck legs super super simple but I'm going to pop this in the oven at 400 degrees and they're going to cook for one hour so the duck's in the oven, and now we're going to prepare the oranges. And to do this, you need a sharp knife, preferably a serrated one if you have it. And I'm going to show you the technique to do that. So cut the top and the bottom of the orange, and then stand it on end. And then use your knife to follow the contour of the orange to cut away the skin and the pith, like so. And then I like to just check that I've got all the different bits off. And then, once you've done that, turn the orange sideways and you cut it into thin discs. There we go. Look at this color, isn't that extraordinary? Blood oranges are just fabulous. And that's why I like to use them in this dish. It just adds this really amazing pop of color. So get rid of the core there. Then to prepare the oranges for the oven, um, pour a little bit of orange, of orange, of olive oil <laughs> onto or into a pan. You can do this on a, 
uh, roasting platter. I mean, if you were doing eight duck legs and you had eight oranges, then you could do it on a sheet pan. Um, I'm doing it in this because I'm going to actually serve the entire dish in this pan once it's finished. Once the duck's cooked, I'll just pop it on top of the oranges. So a little drizzle of olive oil in the bottom, not too much. And then we're going to put all of these lovely orange slices across the bottom. And I like to change, I like to sort of mix the two different colors up so it's not all one color together. And these cook, the oranges cook at 350. So let the duck cook for 30 minutes, then lower the oven temperature to 350 and you can cook the oranges in the same oven as the duck. Just cook them on a lower shelf at a, the lower temperature at 350. And then everything will be ready at the same time. Once the duck's finished, the, orange, the oranges will be cooked. And we combine everything with the lovely watercress. Put this in here. Don't forget all that yummy juice. But I'm going to add these to the pan. There we go. It's a bed for the duck to sit on afterwards. So another little, just really a drizzle of olive oil and a little salt and pepper. And then pop this in the oven too. There we go, it's going to join the duck. So here we have the roasted oranges and the roasted duck. And to serve this, to put it all together, it's very simple. So what I like to do is to tuck a little bit of the watercress into and around the oranges. And then, like so, and I keep extra for each plate. And then take the duck and put the duck on top. Oh, without the sprigs of the cooked thyme, it might be a bit crunchy. There we go. And this is this beautiful canard à l'orange. So my mom's coming over for dinner soon. I hope you have a lovely dinner. Uh, bon appétit, and I will see you in a couple of weeks.